As we go through our day-to-day -day vehicle readiness checks, it is important to maintain a clean and disinfected vehicle. Part of your readiness check includes personally inspecting and cleaning your vehicle before use and adhering to the proper cleaning procedures at the end of your work shift. In this video, we will focus on the cleaning and disinfecting of vehicles. It is important to understand the difference between cleaning and disinfecting your vehicle. Cleaning refers to the removal of germs, dirt, and impurities from surfaces. Cleaning does not kill germs, but by removing them, it lowers their numbers and the risk of spreading infection. Cleaning is typically performed using soap, detergents, cleansers, and clean water before using disinfecting method. Disinfecting refers to using chemicals to kill germs on surfaces. This process does not necessarily clean dirty surfaces or remove germs, but by killing germs on a surface after cleaning, it can further lower the risk of spreading infection. Disinfecting is typically performed using approved commercial or household disinfecting solutions. It is important to only use disinfectants that are pre-approved by the United States Environmental Protection Agency. Be sure to follow manufacturer's instructions for application, proper ventilation, and only use the appropriate product for the surface to be cleaned. The two most common cleaning and disinfecting options contain either alcohol or bleach-based solutions. For alcohol-based cleaners, many equipment manufacturers recommend using solutions with at least 70% isopropyl or ethyl alcohol, as it is the most compatible with vehicle interior surfaces. If 70% alcohol solutions are not available, higher concentrations can be purchased and diluted down. Alcohol is flammable. Never use alcohol near ignition sources including open flame, running motors, and never smoke while using alcohol-based cleaners. Do not use bleach solutions on communication equipment as this can degrade the display's anti-glare coating. The Center for Disease Control recommends using alcohol wipes containing a minimum of 70% alcohol to remove infectious agents from hard surfaces such as touchscreens, portable and mounted radios, including microphones. Bleach or hydrogen peroxide solutions are not recommended for use on the inside of equipment. While they can both kill germs on surfaces, they will likely damage the vehicle's interior surfaces. Bleach solutions can be utilized as a cleaning and disinfecting option after exhausting all other recommended options. Bleach solutions should be a ratio of one part bleach and 10 parts water. An example would be spray bottles mixed with four teaspoons bleach per one quart of water. Never mix bleach with ammonia or any other cleaning products, as doing so may lead to creation of toxic byproducts. To properly clean and disinfect equipment, consult the owner's manual for any special cleaning directions. Use disposable gloves that comply with the product safety data sheet and determine what types of personal protective equipment are recommended for use of the product. If surfaces are noticeably dirty, clean with a detergent or soap and water before you disinfect them. Once clean, begin disinfecting by wiping down surfaces in a one-way direction until the entire surface has been disinfected. For soft surfaces, the CDC recommends using a cleaner that's appropriate for the fabric in question. Utilize vehicle carpet or upholstery shampoo to sanitize these soft surfaces. Use a disinfectant to clean all soft and hard surfaces that are high touch areas. These areas include, but are not limited to, vehicle keys and key fobs, any buttons or touch screens, exterior door handles and grab handles, steering wheel, wiper and turn signal indicators, gear selector, interior door panel, armrests, door release lever, seats, seat pockets and seat adjusters, seat belts and release controls, dashboard and cup holders. Cabin air filter replacement is not a recommended disinfecting control measure. Properly discard your disposable cleaning supplies and gloves after handling disinfectant solutions. To remove your disposable gloves, grasp the outside of one glove at the wrist. Do not touch your bare skin. Peel the glove away from your body, pulling it inside out. Hold the glove you just removed from your gloved hand. Peel off the second glove by putting your fingers inside the glove at the top of your wrist. Turn the second glove inside out while pulling it away from your body, leaving the first glove inside the second. Dispose the gloves safely and do not reuse disposable gloves. 
Clean your hands immediately after removing gloves. To properly clean your hands, wet your hands with clean running water, warm or cold, turn off the tap, and apply soap. Lather your hands by rubbing them together with the soap. Lather the backs of your hands, between your fingers, and under your nails. Scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. If you don't have a timer, hum the happy birthday song from beginning to end twice. Rinse your hands while under clean running water. Dry your hands using a clean towel or air dry them. The health and safety of our employees is the number one priority. We are all responsible for ensuring a clean, safe, and germ-free environment. This video is in compliance with the following guidelines and standards.